Chiefs over the Niners in overtime. It wasn't a great game. It was a great finish. And sometimes we mistake the two. It's like, man, that was a great game. No, it wasn't. But it was a great finish. Interesting finish. And this is how it sounded for the Kansas City Chiefs on their home radio network. McKinnon is in it, running back. First down and goal to go. Play action fake. Right side throw. Touchdown! Kansas City! McCall Hardman! McCall Hardman with the catch on the right side! A three-yard touchdown pass in overtime! Kansas City wins the game! And the Chiefs' kingdom has started its own history class because for the first time in 6,944 days, there is a back-to-back Super Bowl champion, and it is the Kansas City Chiefs. Somebody was doing some homework prior to that touchdown. Somebody was prepared for that call. (laughs) The Niners weren't prepared. This is how it sounded on the uh, 49ers radio network. Seven seconds, six. They are going to snap it. Mahomes going to roll to his right. Throws. Touchdown. The Chiefs have won the Super Bowl. Nicole Hardman. As they roll Mahomes right, Nicole Hardman is wide open. And the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Back-to-back years. Another heartbreaking loss for Kyle Shanahan. That's uh, courtesy of KNBR, the 49ers radio network. All right, we'll have a poll question here. And, uh, Seton, what are we going to go with uh, first hour? Well, we got a couple of them here, Dan. Uh, The 49ers lost because Paul sent this one in. Uh, The blocked extra point. Okay. The decisions of their coaches. Mm -hmm. Mahomes got the ball last. Mm -hmm. Other, neither, neither. Okay. I think they're all uh, under the umbrella of that's why they lost. But uh, what would be the one that would stand out more than any? I I hate you know looking at the coaching staff here, but it just I I was puzzled at times with what they were trying to. It's almost like Kyle Shanahan in the second half wanted Brock Purdy to be the MVP. It felt like the play calling was we're going to have you win this instead of just saying to Christian McCaffrey, uh, why don't you run again? Hey, why don't we get it to him again? Andy Reid brought up something interesting that he was calling plays for players. Basically saying, get the ball to this guy, or you take it. Whereas it felt like San Francisco wasn't doing that. They were calling plays instead of just saying, get the ball to Christian McCaffrey. Uh, George Kittle was non-existent. Debo was in and out of the lineup, not completely healthy. Uh, Brandon Ayuk would have had the game-winning touchdown, but give credit to Chris Jones running up the middle, uh, you know, hurrying Brock Purdy. It just felt like their play calling was more guided towards Brock Purdy than it was Christian McCaffrey. And uh, I was a little bit surprised with that. But, you know, the, the block kick, um, you know, came down to defense. It came down to Kansas City's defense versus San Francisco's offense. And Kansas City's defense lived up to the billing. San Francisco's offense didn't. Because if, if I would have said to you, hey, 19 points, San Francisco get 19 points before you go into overtime, what do you think? I'd sign up for that in a second. Uh, San Francisco's defense played pretty well with Kansas City. Still, though, this isn't a great Kansas City offense. This was supposed to be a great San Francisco offense. Patrick Mahomes didn't have a 1,000-yard receiver and didn't have a 1,000-yard rusher. You can't say, oh, can he do it without Tyreek Hill anymore? Um, He's got receivers who dropped the ball. Through all of that, he did just enough. Just enough. And once again, I thought San Francisco was probably the better team. I was not betting against Patrick Mahomes. And that's why I took the Chiefs, because of that last drive. And we can talk about the philosophy of, you know, Kyle Shanahan taking the ball in overtime. We'll talk about that. And he tries to explain that coming up here. But here's Super Bowl uh, number three for Patrick Mahomes. And he talked about winning. Is this one the most satisfying based on where you were losing five of eight at one point in the regular season? One thousand percent. I mean, just um, 
the attitude of the team to never give up, ne always be, be always believe and uh, to continue the fight. Um, it, it, it's special, and I'm proud of the guys, man. I mean, we battled uh, through and through, all the way through the playoffs, into the Super Bowl, and um, just like our whole season, it came down to the last play. Yeah. And it's almost like it was a foregone conclusion. If you look at the body language of the Niners, because the clock is running. And then all of a sudden, I mean, that was a simple play. I mean, there wasn't anything special. It's just like, here it is. Oh, there's the game. Yeah, Paulie. That's what really surprised me at the end. It was first and goal at the three or four. Yeah. And the clock's running down. And it almost like Nance and Romo thought they were going to let the clock run out, reset, and go back to the other side. I, it's like they said, hey, man, let's just get a, a playoff real quick here before the, the Niners have a chance to set up because we have three more shots at the end zone. It was, and the clock was running. I, I thought they were going to let it go. Yeah, it was surprising. Uh, but I think, I mean, you had Mahomes there. And I'm watching the clock and I'm going, you got to hurry. You got to hurry. And then I realized, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I had a couple seconds to spare there. Uh, but I, uh, I thought it was an interesting game. It was a weird game. I didn't think it was a great game. But they don't hand out style points. Yeah, Brady, is, Brady won a couple of Super Bowls when he beat the Rams, uh, and he also beat the Rams. He beat the L.A. version and the St. Louis version, and it wasn't pretty, but it was a win. And it came down to can you make plays? Chris Jones, who basically had to beg to get a new contract or a one-year deal. And when you needed him the most, he made probably the biggest play of the game. When he went up the middle with Purdy, and then because Ayuk is there for a touchdown, you want the players who make plays when you need them. Mahomes did. Chris Jones did. San Francisco's big players, they did not. All right. Any other poll questions, Seaton, before we zero in on one? We have another option of basically the same poll question, which is <laughs> the main reason the Chiefs won last night okay. is... I'll let you guess who this was written by. Okay. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is great, and Brock Purdy is not. Wow. Andy Reid outcoached Kyle Shanahan. Wow. Who's mean-spirited today? The Chiefs are just the better team. Okay. Or the magic of Tay-Tay with the side of Blake Lively. <laughs> <laughs> Got to factor that in. I'll take some Taylor Swift with a side order of Blake Lively, a please. spice <laughs> thrown in there, too, as the uh, beverage, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Todd, are you being mean spirited today? A little mean spirited, but I think those are all valid choices. Okay, it's, it, they sound mean spirited, but if it, there's some truth to it, it's not that mean spirited. Yes, Seaton. To me, everything, like every single one of these options, originates in one person. Like, uh, why did Brock Purdy have the ball in his hand so much right. and not run it? That's Kyle Shanahan. Uh, okay, right. The uh, Patrick Mahomes getting the ball last, which was. Who made that decision? That would be Kyle Shanahan. Right. They're just, man, he, I just don't understand what the 49ers were doing. Are they going to be the best team to never win a Super Bowl? Because, you know, you start to look at these windows, and man, do they close quickly. You're like, oh, we got a guy who's, you know, on a rookie deal, and McCaffrey is still great. And then you start to look at, okay, Trent Williams, how much longer is he going to play? George Kittle, how much longer is he going to play? Uh, Fred Warner, who's wonderful. Uh, Greenlaw, that injury coming back from now from a torn Achilles, it, it you know that was really devastating for San Francisco because yes, you lose him. You don't, you're like looking over and you're going, wait a minute, where is he? He's on the sidelines. First of all, CBS, incredible that you had a camera on him, and you see from behind he's ready to go on the field, and then he stops, and then he gets ready and he goes back on, and then he goes down. And Paulie immediately goes, Achilles. And I thought, oh, my God. Non-contact. That's it. Done. And you were playing well. He's so impactful on that team. So it's a loss, but it's like it's the Super Bowl. It's devastating. I mean, he's one of your, what, two leaders on defense? And then all of a sudden, you lose him. And I thought uh, Bosa put a ton of pressure on Mahomes last night. Chase Young was sort of there involved. San Francisco was getting what they needed to get. And I, at halftime, and I remember my wife saying, you still like the Chiefs? I said, I love the Chiefs. If I could have bet at halftime of who was going to win that game, it was going to be the Chiefs. There was never a doubt in my mind. Now, when it started, I thought, uh-oh. All right. And then McCaffrey fumbles. And I go, okay. Brutal. 
But at halftime, I thought, I lit up a cigar. Like, I felt that confident. It wasn't a Red Arbach cigar, like victory, but I'm like, all right, I'm going to sit back. I, I like Kansas City. Now, it wasn't pretty. And there were times where you go, San Francisco should win this game. It's just you got 15 over there, man. 